Use A equals P times the quantity 1 plus R over N to the NT and A equals PE to the RT to solve this problem. Suppose you have $3,000 to invest. Which investment yields the greater return over 10 years? 6.5% compounded semi-annually or 6% compounded continuously? How much more to the nearest dollar is yielded by the better investment? Well, let's look at the semi-annual investment. So it's A equals our $3,000 principal that we're investing plus um, times 1 plus the rate of 0.065 that's semi-annually twice per year it's compounded. And so twice per year it's compounded for 10 years. If we evaluate that, we'll have $3,000, and if we evaluate the um, parentheses portion, that comes out to be approximately, when I round it off, 1.896. So that when I multiply these, I get $5,687.51. If I instead look at the continuous compounding, I'll have my A is equal to the $3,000 of my principal, and then I have E raised to the R, which is 6% interest rate, for 10 years. If I take 3,000 and then take e to the 0.06 times 10 and multiply that out, what I'll have is $5,466.36. So I can see that at 6.5% semi-annually is definitely the better choice. And the other part of the question was, by how much? And so what I would have is $5,687.51 minus $5,466.36. When I round that off to the nearest dollar, that's a difference of approximately $221.